Arika Johnson. Just now. Shared with public. Halloween, the final reckoning. Opening scene one, Survivor's Night. Location, Allison's house, Haddonfield, one year after the fire. The camera opens with a panoramic view of Haddonfield, bathed in the eerie glow of the harvest moon. Inside her dimly lit kitchen, Allison is flipping through old photo albums, reminiscing about her family's past. Pictures of her grandmother, Laurie Strode, and her mother, Karen, fill the pages. Both women gave their lives in the fight against Michael Myers. Allison speaks softly to herself, gazing at a photo of Laurie. Allison, you thought you got him, Grandma, but I can still feel him out there. Suddenly, there's a knock at the door. Frank Hawkins, the weathered police officer who had once worked alongside Laurie, enters. He holds a bottle of bourbon and two glasses. Hawkins, mind if I come in? I think we could both use a drink. Allison nods, pouring them both a drink. Hawkins, it's been a year, Allison. You should leave this place behind. Allison, sipping her drink, Samba is still out there, Hawkins. I know it. We didn't see his body. Scene 2, The Stranger in Town. Location, a bar on the edge of Haddonfield. Cut to a dingy bar filled with Halloween decorations. Patrons laugh and joke, oblivious to the dark history of their town. A mysterious figure enters, clad in black, his face obscured by the shadows of his hood. He sits at the bar, eyes locked on the television playing news highlights from the anniversary of last year's tragic fire. Bartender, something to drink, stranger? The figure doesn't respond. The bartender shrugs and walks away. The camera zooms in on the man's hand as it gently caresses the edge of a knife tucked into his coat. The ominous Michael Myers theme plays softly in the background. Scene 3, The Night Begins. Location, Haddonfield Police Station. The Haddonfield Police Department is on high alert, with officers stationed around town. Sheriff Barker stands before a wall of monitors showing live footage of streets and homes. Sheriff Barker, I want every officer patrolling the streets. If that psycho shows up tonight, we put him down for good. Officer Bennett, nervous sheriff, it's been a year. We haven't heard anything from him since the fire. Sheriff Barker, doesn't mean he's gone. And I'm not taking any chances. Suddenly, a report crackles through the police radio. A disturbance at the bar outside of town. Scene 4, the first kill. Location, the bar. The camera cuts to the aftermath of a massacre at the bar. Broken glass, overturned chairs, and bloody handprints stain the walls. The hooded figure from earlier is gone, leaving behind only a trail of bodies. The bartender lies on the floor, his throat slashed. A single pumpkin flickers on the counter, casting the room in an ominous glow. Officer Bennett and her partner arrive at the scene, horrified by the carnage. As they step inside, they hear the faint creak of a door. Officer Bennett, whispering to her partner stay close. He's still here. Suddenly, the shape of Michael Myers emerges from the shadows. Without warning, he lunges at Bennett, impaling her with his knife. Her partner fires off a shot, but Michael is unfazed, advancing with deadly precision. Scene 5, The Warning. Location, Allison's house. Back at Allison's home, she and Hawkins sit in silence, the tension heavy in the air. Her phone rings, it's Sheriff Barker. Sheriff Barker, on the phone Allison, we've got another killing. It's him. Michael's back. Allison's grip tightens on the phone, her face pale. Allison, I knew it. Hawkins gets up, grabbing his gun from the table. Hawkins, we finish this tonight. One way or another. Scene 6, The Hunt. Location, Haddonfield Streets. The streets are deserted. Halloween decorations flutter in the wind as Hawkins and Allison drive through town, their eyes scanning for any sign of Michael. The radio crackles with reports of sightings, but no one has yet been able to get close to him. Suddenly, they spot Michael Myers walking down the street, his mask illuminated by the glow of a streetlight. Hawkins, Cocking his gun there he is. The car screeches to a halt as they jump out, ready to face the monster. But as they approach, 
Michael turns and disappears into the darkness of a nearby alley. Allison, shouting you're not getting away this time. Scene 7, The Trap. Location, an abandoned factory. Allison and Hawkins follow Michael to an old, abandoned factory on the outskirts of town. The building is decaying, its windows shattered, and the walls covered in graffiti. The perfect place for Michael to hide. Hawkins, this is it. We go in, guns blazing. They enter the building, moving cautiously through the maze of rooms. The sound of Michael's breathing echoes in the distance. Allison holds her knife tightly, her heart pounding in her chest. Suddenly, Michael lunges from the shadows, attacking Hawkins with brutal force. Allison screams, trying to pull Michael away, but he's too strong. With a sickening crunch, Hawkins falls to the floor, motionless. Scene 8, Allison's Fury. Location, inside the factory. Allison, enraged by Hawkins' death, charges at Michael with her knife. The two engage in a vicious battle, each blow more desperate than the last. Michael slashes at her, but she dodges, delivering a deep cut to his arm. Allison, gritting her teeth this is for my family, you son of a bitch. She lands a stab to Michael's chest, but he barely reacts. His mask tilts slightly, revealing his cold, emotionless eyes. They continue to fight, their struggle taking them deeper into the dark factory. Scene 9, The Reckoning. Location, The Rooftop. The battle leads them to the rooftop of the factory, where the wind howls and the moon hangs low in the sky. Allison, battered and blooded, stands across from Michael, her knife ready. Allison, panting you've taken everything from me, but you won't take this town. Not again. Michael charges at her, but she sidesteps, using his momentum against him. He stumbles toward the edge of the roof. In a final, desperate move, Allison grabs a steel pipe and swings it with all her might, knocking Michael off balance. He falls from the rooftop, crashing onto the pavement below. Final scene 10, the shape endures. Location, outside the factory. Allison slowly makes her way down to the ground, her breathing ragged. She stands over Michael's motionless body, her knife raised. For a moment, it seems like it's finally over. But then, Michael's hand twitches. He starts to rise, his indomitable will to kill still driving him forward. Before Allison can react, police sirens fill the air. Officers surround Michael, firing multiple rounds into him, forcing him back down. Sheriff Barker, arriving at the scene he's not getting up from that. Allison drops to her knees, exhausted, but she can't shake the feeling of dread. The camera lingers on Michael's body, his mask cracked but still in place. His eyes remain open, cold and unblinking, as the screen fades to black. Credits roll. The shape of Michael Myers may be down, but the evil that drives him endures, always waiting, always lurking in the shadows. Like. Comment. Share.